All right, it's time for the test run of the Propex tent heater. I put up some pictures of this on the Valiant Facebook page the other day and um, promised that I was gonna set this thing up so that we could actually see. I have not turned it on to see if it works. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, it's installed basically using the, all the same principles as when we install these in our uh, XTD and XTD mini model campers. So I think it should all work. I'll kind of show you how it's installed. And there's another play or another video I've got out there of me using this to preheat an airplane. And it's uh, uh, basically I had this that regulator box attached to the Propex unit and everything routed through that box so that it basically made it a portable system. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a semi-permanent install on this just so uh, I didn't have to carry around that tote that contained the Propex because it's just another like thing to put back here. So that's why I did this was really just to save myself a little bit of storage space. Well, so the unit itself is attached to the bottom of the tent. If I can show you that so you can see that those bolts, those are 5 16 bolts, I think, uh, that just slide into the track on the bottom of the tent. And so it bolts up on that side, and then the spacing just like didn't quite work out right for me to be able to attach it into anything. So it's actually just zip tied to my crossbars on this side. So it's a little redneck, but I'm a little redneck, so that's okay. Um, I've got the uh, Expedition Essentials propane mount with an 11 pound bottle. And so this is kind of the important thing, is the two-stage regulator. You gotta have a two-stage regulator uh, for that Propex. So that holds that. And then the wires that you'll see, this is a uh, power supply, and this one's going to the thermostat. And when it stores, they can just wind all that up and stuff it in here. So I just like cut some channels into this box. But anyway, propane uh, comes out of the regulator and into the unit, and then it's coming out of the bottle and into the box. That silver hose you'll see there is the exhaust. It's just running straight down. And then intake air is this little black hose, which is routed up along the bottom of my tent, and it's going under this front runner camp table. So when you're traveling, I just take these little uh, duct um, bezels that come with the unit. They're in the kit. And I just duct taped over the top of them to basically make a cap. So in transit, you just put that into both of the ports. That way you don't get any crud in there. But these units are designed to be on the bottom of camper vans, so they can be out in the weather. They're meant to be installed directly under, under the uh, floor of a camper van exposed to the weather. So you've got hot air out closer to the cab there, and then return air, which is this one closer to me. And those ducts, uh, I actually just stick in these toolboxes over here. There's this little side toolbox and both the ducts fit in there pretty well. So I've got return air running under the unit and up through the window of the tent there. I've got hot air coming out of the unit and into the window right here, right next to the, the entry door. And then power just temporarily. I'm gonna put an auxiliary battery in the back and not have to do all this, but right now I've just got, I just cracked that back window and ran it through just to test it. So we're gonna climb up in here and hopefully it works. Propane is on. There's a thermostat. I just ran this through the uh, little uh, electrical port on the side of the tent. Press the flame button. So it's 55 in here right now. It's, it's an, actually a pretty warm day. It's probably really like 45 outside, but black tent, the sun's hitting it. So this thing's set to 70. You can hear it fire up. It's just cold air right now but that thing will ignite and then a little red light will come on. I hear it clicking. It's probably gonna purge all the air out of it first. Click, 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 click. Come on. You can do it.
probably a bunch of air in that thing. There, you're clicking. Oh, she tried. Should try one more time before she shuts down. It's pretty typical of a first use. She goes. Red light is on. She's lit. Nice warm air. Everything's showing 57 right now. So we're going to close it up and see how long it takes for it to get warmed up. But um, it's not going to take more than a couple of minutes for it to get to 70 degrees in here. So this is the best way to do it, where you have your return air on the opposite side of the tent. That way you're pulling air through, all the way through. If you were to run both ducks side by side, the hot air is just going to come out and go straight back into the, the uh, return air. And you're not really going to heat the area very well. But this would let you actually use your tent basically all year round comfortably without having to worry about those diesel heaters and the complexity and potential problems and all that stuff that those things have. These Propex units are super reliable. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna mess with this a little bit, but wanted to show you guys that. If you're interested in picking up one of these units and doing your own uh, install or portable system or however you wanna do it, we have these Propex units in stock usually. I know right now we have a bunch of them. Uh, Valiant Trailers, here's the shop. We're just outside of Wasilla. And then uh, in our Idaho Falls location, um, IF Overlanding has some as well that we've given them, so you can always get a hold of them if uh, you're down in that neck of the woods and you wanted to try and set something like this up. Yeah.